You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. through the lies and disinformation. It's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Radio, 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 radio. Welcome to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, your host on this Sunday, March 1st, 2015. I'm going to be joined by reporters live in Chicago at the site of the black site that has uh, been discovered there and been reported on by The Guardian. It took a while. It wasn't really something that local press was looking into, interestingly enough. And we had protesters there. There was a protest from several different organizations. Our reporters were there to cover it. They were complaining about the fact that their local press did not cover it. No doubt. Their local press is basically taking the side of the police. This is something that has roots in the war on drugs, and it has influences on Gitmo. We can see... Pieces of where this country is going with the NDAA Act, the Indefinite Detention Act that Obama signed and then said, don't worry, I'm not going to actually do that. I'm not really going to detain people without uh, having them charged with anything, hold them indefinitely without charge, without trial. I would never do that. We see this is happening in his hometown in Chicago. We see that Obama and Rahm and many others in power knew about this over a long period of time. How many more of these sites are there in Chicago? How many more are there across the country? Is this a template for what we're going to see in other parts of the country? This is how they roll it out. They come out into the big cities uh, that are easily corrupted. It's easy to hide this stuff. It's easy to uh, uh, compartmentalize this. Listen to some of the headlines we've got from The Guardian here. Gestapo tactics at U.S. police black site ring alarm from Chicago to Washington. Another one held for hours at secret Chicago black site. Quote, you're a hostage and it's kidnapping. Another one that disappeared. Chicago police detain Americans at abuse laden black side. Another one. I sat in that place for three days, man. A Chicago Chicagoan details his abusive confinement inside the police's black site. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to have uh, Joe Biggs. Uh, joining us in the second hour, we're also going to be talking about what happened at CPAC. Of course, there's been a lot of action uh, in the political side this last week at CPAC. We've had Jeb Bush making an appearance there, getting booed by many, some walking out on him. But the interesting thing is he actually bust in supporters from, guess where? K Street. Yeah, K Street. To lobbyists what Wall Street is to the stock market. That's where they bust people in from to support uh, Jeb Bush. Of course, he... Didn't back down on immigration like Marco Rubio did. He doubled down on illegal immigrants, on the entitlements, on driver's licenses, on voting for illegal immigrants. This is the way he's going to get the nomination. He's going to run to the statist side of everybody else in the Republican Party. And he's going to win over a divided field. Then he's going to run as a centrist statist in the general elections. That's what we're going to see from him. We're also going to be talking about political assassination. There was a major event, of course. I'm sure you've heard of it by now. The primary opponent of Vladimir Putin was shot near the Kremlin, in the Kremlin. This would be equivalent to Mitt Romney just before the election being shot uh, close to the Capitol building or the uh, White House, uh, shot on the White House lawn. A lot of people instantly said, what must be Putin? Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. We're going to look at some other evidence to the contrary about it, but we're also going to take a look at that political assassination. We're going to look at uh, someone who committed suicide in high political office here in America. Could you believe that something like that would be an assassination? Or does that only happen in politics in Russia? We've seen plenty of cases where that happens. We're also going to be talking about the surveillance state. News on black boxes for your automobiles. You may not know it, but if you're getting a car from 2015 on, every single make and model of car has a black box recorder in it. What are the implications of that? And of course, in just a year or two, we're going to have mandated vehicle to vehicle communication for new cars. Perhaps they will uh, backdate that to older cars, force us to get those put into our cars in order to be able to drive on the streets. Of course, we're going to also talk about the new Apple Watches. Tim Cook said that's going to replace a lot of things. It's going to replace your keys. He's expecting it's going to replace cash as well. We'll talk about that coming up. Stay with us. We'll be right back. When cell 
cells become toxic, they die early, and aging sets in. No one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. Just one of the key compounds, BioPQQ, is backed by major clinical studies. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? We now have the synergistic solution. Secure your DNA force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. The average person's life is filled with unexpected challenges. Unlock the energy it takes to defeat these daily beasts with super male or super female vitality. Specifically designed to assist the body in regulating proper hormone balance to create superior vitality in males and females. Supercharge and conquer your world at InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-88-253-3139. We now take you live to the Central Texas Command Center in the heart of the resistance. Rallying patriots worldwide. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. Welcome back to The Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, your host today on this Sunday, March 1st, 2015. In the next hour, we're going to be talking to our reporters live in Chicago, looking at this black site where there is kidnapping. Because that's what it is when you don't, when you arrest somebody and you hold them for days and you don't charge them with a crime, that is kidnapping. So we have reports of essentially the beginnings of uh, the NDAA. But maybe where the NDAA began was in Chicago. We have an article we're going to go over and talk about that before uh, Joe Biggs comes on with us in the next hour, talking about how perhaps the corruption and the practices in Chicago were exported to Gitmo and maybe set up the example for the NDAA, which, of course, Chicago and Obama signed, promising that he would never indefinitely detain people without charges, that he would not disappear people. They were already doing it in his hometown he knew about it. Rahm Emanuel knew about it. It's got big consequences for the election there. Even though the local press is pushing back, the Guardian from the UK exposed this story, looking for connections to Gitmo. That's how they stumbled on this story. So there is a connection. We're going to talk about that connection. We're going to talk to Joe Biggs about the demonstration there yesterday and what he's seen in the local press who basically are trying to push this back, to water this down, say, wow, oh, this is Chicago. People just don't understand that... In a big city, the police get kind of rough with people. You know, it's just the way it is. Just get used to that. No, that's just corruption. That's all it is. We're also going to talk about the political assassination in Russia. We're going to talk about the surveillance state. But before we get to all of those, I want to talk about CPAC. Because there was a lot of news this last week, a lot of political news. There's a big field of Republicans. And they were making their case to the Conservative Political Action uh, Committee conference, actually, in uh, Washington. Jeb Bush, of course, uh, everybody is talking about him as being the heir apparent, and I think he probably will be, because I think he's going to let everybody else split the conservative and libertarian vote. He's going to go for the statist authoritarian side of the Republican Party, and he certainly has the financial backing of the statist authoritarians. Once these other guys all fight amongst themselves, he will be the one left on that, that side, and then he'll be able to run in the center in the general election, the statist central uh, part of the political spectrum. But when he went to the to, to CPAC, there were a lot of people say they were going to boo him and walk out. And actually, he did get that. They had about uh, two dozen people only that walked out. I think it's better to stay there to uh, essentially boo him and to turn your back on him as he talks. Uh, I think it's better to confront stuff instead of just uh, walking out on it. But certainly, they made a point when they did that. They knew this was coming up. People were talking about the fact they were going to do this. So the day before, there was actually an email that went out. This was reported by uh, Slate. They said Jeb Bush backers were being bussed in. And guess where they were coming in? From K Street. K Street is where all the lobbyist uh, firms hang out. K Street is to lobbyists and corruption what Wall Street is to stocks. And so they pointed out that there's a, uh, a guy, Fritz Brogan, former advance man for President George W. Bush. 
He co-hosted a fundraiser for Jeb's Right to Rise PAC earlier this month, and he sent out an email. He said, we strongly recommend arriving as early as possible to get a seat. Our early rise team will be there at 730 onward helping reserve seats. If you want to get there early, let me know. And he wrote that there were still available seats on buses leaving from K Street and Georgetown. So there you go. They show up and support him by, as I guess uh, John Lennon would say, by rattling their jewelry. Now, the Washington Post and the Status Press really loved Jeb Bush's performance because he didn't back down on illegal immigration. And, of course, the establishment is going to love that. They say, this is the Washington Post saying, he refused to back down, particularly on immigration. In a word, he looked presidential. And I guess the question is, presidential for what? Presidential for the United States of America or presidential for what comes after the United States of America? What David Petraeus said was North America. Maybe we should just call it Norte America. That's the NAFTA organization. Underscoring, as we've been saying all along, that NAFTA was not simply a trade agreement. And understand that the transatlantic partnership and the trans-Pacific partnerships that are being negotiated now are not simply trade agreements. They are going to affect our sovereignty. They're going to affect our freedom in multitude of ways. And that's what NAFTA was. It was a change in our sovereignty. They recognized that. They understood that while they were saying to everybody, no, 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 that's not the case whatsoever. That's just a conspiracy theory. You're extrapolating this into, a, you know, th this is just a tinfoil hat conspiracy theories. CNN is now running op-ed pieces saying why we need a North American passport. When you look at Keystone Pipeline, you see that a Canadian corporation is given the rights of eminent domain for their private project. Keystone is a private project. We're told that all the time by the Republicans who want to pass this. They say, why wouldn't you give us the rights to something that the State Department wants to do that is being uh, funded with private money? Fine. I'm all for privately funded projects. But when you're going to have a privately funded project run by a foreign corporation from Canada and give them the right to eminent domain, that's not constitutional and it's not just. They should not be able to come in for the Keystone Pipeline and run people off of their property, off of their farms and ranches that have been in their families for over 100 years. They don't have, the corporations don't have superior private property rights to the individuals. And foreign corporations certainly don't. But this is taking it the next step. This is taking it the next step from the Supreme Court's decision on Kello, which was an abomination. This is taking it now to not only just a politically connected corporation taking somebody who is a smaller individual, taking their private property. This is giving it to a foreign corporation. That's what I object to about the Keystone Project. I vehemently object to that. But that's where we are. That's part of NAFTA. See? Because, you know, th this is how they pass the, the goods along to the transnational corporations. And that's what's happening with the transatlantic and transpacific partnerships. It is a further consolidation of sovereignty masquerading as trade agreements, just like NAFTA masqueraded as a trade agreement. That's not that at all. It's destroying our property and it is elevating corporations to the level of government. The Constitution says they can use eminent domain only if they compensate people for it, if they take the property for public use. If you take the property for private use and give it to a multinational foreign corporation, that is not for public use. That is for private use. And they've said repeatedly that Keystone is for private use. Transatlantic and transpacific partnerships being negotiated by corporate lobbyists in secret that we cannot see, the public cannot see it, our elected representatives cannot see it. Our elected representatives not going to be given time to read it. They don't need to read it because they're going to be blocked under fast track from making any amendments to it. This is the way they're railroading us into a global governance. Understand that. Where corporations are elevated to the level of governments. Where our sovereignty, our sovereign nations are being destroyed. That is what is behind the illegal immigration. Now, Jeb Bush said to those who are booing him at CPAC, he said, I'm going to mark you down as neutral. Guess what? We're going to mark down Jeb Bush as disqualified. He said, for those of you making an ooh sound, is that what it was? I'm marking you down as neutral, and I want to be your second choice. Asked if he still supports giving driver's licenses and in-state tuition prices to illegal immigrants. 
he demurred. But then he stood by the policies and he noted that a conservative state legislature and governor signed an in-state tuition bill in Florida just last year. Understand, this is in-state tuition for illegal aliens. People who are here illegally get benefits that American citizens do not. You understand how they're incentivizing this. You are not going to stop this with a border patrol when you incentivize it to this level. And that's the issue that I have when Marco Rubio talks about how he says, yeah, I understand. Let me pull this back on immigration. He says, I understand that when you got 10 or 12 million people in the country that haven't committed any crime other than violating our immigration law and trespassing and demanding entitlements, I understand that you can't do that. You've got to get the border first. It's not about the border. It's about the enticements. It's about the entitlements. It's about Cloward and Piven taking down the country with entitlements. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Now, going back to CPAC, because I think it's very interesting to see the different players. We talked about how Marco Rubio tried to walk back his position on illegal immigration, saying, I get it. We have to shut the border down before we can declare everybody that came here illegally as citizens and give them the right to vote and give them full access to the entitlement welfare state. Now, that's not the problem. And when you continually incentivize things, when you build up the entitlement welfare state, when you give illegal aliens greater entitlements than citizens who were born here, when you do that, you are incentivizing it. You will never shut it down at the border. What you will do is you will shut down the American economy. And that is by design. We had American sociologists, socialists, Cloward and Piven, who basically strategized about that. I remember, if you go back and you look at the Libertarian Party, they have a, a questionnaire to try to get you to stop thinking on just this left-right line. It's called the Nolan Chart. It was developed by uh, one of the founders of the Libertarian Party, Nolan. And what they do is they ask you 10 questions about personal freedom, 10 questions about essentially civil liberties questions, 10 that are economic and 10 that are civil liberties, if you want to put it in those areas. And then what you get is a an area, a graph, a chart that you can put out. And what they do is they rotate that chart 45 degrees. So now you've got a, a line that runs left and right, but now you have a higher quadrant, liberty, and you have a lower quadrant, authoritarianism. It's very important to start thinking of things in the right way, to, to get that perspective, that broader perspective. Because of course you can look at uh, Hitler and you can look at Stalin and you can say, well, one of them is they're extreme polar opposites of each other, except they acted exactly the same. They were statist authoritarians. They used a different idea in order to get into power, but they essentially, on this Nolan chart, wind up down near the bottom. Looks like a diamond. They're down at the very tip of that diamond. When I took that uh, class, when I took the, the uh, quiz, on the 10 uh, economic questions of freedom and the 10 civil liberties questions, I basically sided with liberty and everything except open borders. And I said at the time, you cannot have open borders if you're going to have an unrestricted entitlement state. Well, of course, I'd been beat that I didn't know about Cloward and Piven at the time, but Cloward and Piven had already worked that out. And they said, that's the way we do it. That's the way we destroy society so we can rebuild it into a socialist utopia. And that's precisely what's being done now. It's not about the border, Rubio. And the rest of you, it is about the incentives. It's just like Washington. You will never be able to get campaign finance reform as long as Washington is a black hole of power drawing money and power into it. It is too much power in one place. And it's become, like I said, a black hole that's drawing everything. In. No laws are going to stop it. And no border fence is going to stop immigration when you incentivize it the way that Obama and Jeb Bush and others want to incentivize it. Now, Jeb Bush also said he's not going to sign any tax pledges in 2016. Why would we believe him if he did? Remember, it was his father who said, read my lips, no new taxes. Nobody believed that he was not going to raise taxes. And of course, he gave us at the time when he became president, the biggest tax increase we had ever seen up to that point. And when he was asked about it, he mocked the reporters, he was out jogging. He mocked the reporters and he said, read my hips. And he jogged off. That's the family tree this guy is from. The family tree that gave us George H.W. and George W. Why would we even consider him? This is a guy who is deliberately running to the authoritarian left 
of the pack so that he can be the only man standing. And, of course, he's getting all the money from these guys. Now, the person who came in second, Scott Walker, interesting that we had an advisor, Mark Salter, the top advisor for the 2008 presidential campaign of John McCain, said he didn't like Scott Walker. He said, I want to like him, but Scott Walker is kind of a dumb A, is what he said. Really? Coming from somebody who worked for John McCain? I mean, I don't know. I don't know Scott Walker, but I mean, that is, if he thinks somebody is much dumber than his boss, that's, that's a pretty bad insult. Now, the person who won CPAC was Rand Paul. And listen to what he said. He was unabashedly on the side of individual liberty and rights. No compromises on it in the speech. He said, your rights are who you are and what you are. Your rights are in your DNA, and the government can quite frankly get over it. Let's run some more of what he said at CPAC, guys. Will you, will you lovers of liberty, will you rise to the occasion? This is Rand Paul. When politicians accept censorship, when politicians accept imprisonment without trial, when politicians accept torture, even of the innocent, as necessary, then lovers of liberty must rise. We must rise and stand with our forefathers who stared down the king. We must rise as free men and women and reclaim our birthright. We must protect and defend the Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic. There you go. That's what he said. Now, listen, I want to repeat what he said there. He said, when politicians accept torture, even of the innocent, as necessary, when politicians accept imprisonment without trial, that's precisely what is going on in Obama's Chicago. That's why our reporters are there. That's why they're going to be joining us in the next hour. It's already there. And guess what? where that all began in Chicago and where they make the excuse for this. Of course, they say, oh, this is nothing but a headquarters for storing material that we've confiscated in the war on drugs. It always goes back to the war on drugs. Even the war on terror goes back to the war on drugs, the tactics that they've used. It's just an enhancement of it. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Sold out for weeks due to the difficult and extensive proprietary process behind its creation, the exclusive InfoWars Life Secret 12 formulation is now back in stock. This ultra-clean vitamin B12 nutraceutical has been carefully crafted and developed over the last two years and is based on cellular science of how your body actively absorbs essential nutrients. Most forms of vitamin B12 are highly processed and synthetic and could not be properly absorbed by the body. Secret 12 is a binary of nutramedical grade, bioavailable coenzyme forms of B12, methylcobalamin, the same kind used in B12 injections, and adenosylcobalamin, the most bioactive form that has been created with our proprietary process. Secret 12 is taken by mouth, right on the tongue, and then swallowed. No needles, no injections. Don't take my word for it. Try it for yourself. Discover the secret. Secret 12. Supplies of Secret 12 are very limited. Secure yours today at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. You can now listen to The Alex Jones Show live on the free TuneIn Radio app featuring over 100,000 real radio stations, over 4 million podcasts streaming live from every continent, offering unprecedented access to listen to anything, anywhere. Tune in lets you listen to over 100,000 real radio stations and more than 4 million podcasts from every continent. 200,000 mobile downloads per day. Available on iPhone, iPad, Android, Android tablets, Windows 8, BlackBerry, Amazon Kindle. Available in over 200 branded products with millions of devices sold worldwide, including Samsung Smart TV, Roku, Sonos, Sony, Sony PlayStation, Amazon Echo, Panasonic Viera TV, Logitech Squeezebox. Tune in brings streaming radio to cars, including GM, Ford, BMW, Tesla, Mercedes-Benz, Volvo, Nissan, Fiat, and more. The average person's life is filled with unexpected challenges. 
Unlock the energy it takes to defeat these daily beasts with super male or super female vitality, specifically designed to assist the body in regulating proper hormone balance to create superior vitality in males and females. Supercharge and conquer your world at InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-88-253-3139. The government's Department of Homeland Security is buying up loads of ammo. At the same time, they're restricting civilians' rights to own and purchase firearms. Can you put two and two together? Infidel Body Armor can stop every round, including hollow points and 308 sniper rounds. Is reasonably priced and fully legal. But for how long? Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com, spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L BodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit in the near future. When you realize how fake it all is, the football, the security basketball. Alert. Security alert. This is Homeland Security. Analysis. Infowars building independent media operations. But the worst people get controlled and tell us that we are the ones responsible. Prime directive discredit Alex Jones. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist. It's a popular conspiracy theory talk show called Infowars. Alex Jones is now in an Austin jail. These people are assaulted Targeting of patriots engaged. They are never going to stop. They're never going to deviate from their program until we stop them. Block free iPhone app at infowars.com. Block free podcast and video feed. Imperative destroy Prison Planet TV. You gotta set your eye on the enemy, not worry about what propaganda they put out intellectually. It's because you can feel it. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. From the front lines of the information war, it's Alex Jones. Welcome back to The Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight. I'll be your host. And we're going to be talking in the next hour to our reporters in Chicago. Of course, we've been talking about that black site where they've been imprisoning people without charging them where there are accusations of torture, even death in this black site. And we just played the excerpt from Rand Paul's speech at CPAC, where he said, when politicians accept imprisonment without trial, when politicians accept torture, even of the innocent, as being necessary, lovers of liberty need to rise. We need to understand that is happening in our country now. That's happening in Chicago. And we need to understand the roots of this. In Chicago, they're making excuses for it, saying it's part of the war on drugs. Actually, part of the war of drugs that our government is waging on America. And that war of drugs, bringing in the drugs, imprisoning people, and trapping them. We know that the government ran uh, crack cocaine trade from, the, uh, from Central America into L.A. through Freeway Ricky Ross. We know what Gary Webb discovered with that. We know they were running black ops. We know that they're growing opium in Afghanistan. That's where they're funding black ops. We've seen the world supply of opium from Afghanistan go from only 10% of the world supply to over 95% of the world supply since we've been there. We know what the war of drugs is about. It's a civil war against our political system, against our rights. Rand Paul called out Jeb Bush on marijuana because right now that's the focus of the that's the most ridiculous aspect. But of course, the aspect of the war on drugs that is the one that puts most people in jail. Rand Paul slammed Jeb Bush for hypocrisy. He pointed out the flaws in Bush's opposition to medical marijuana last year in Florida. Paul said that, uh, that uh, he didn't criticize Bush for having made mistakes growing up. But he says, if you've got MS, multiple sclerosis in Florida, Jeb Bush just voted to put you in jail. If you go down to a local store, a local drug store, and get medical marijuana, yet he was doing it for recreational purposes. It was a different standard for him. It was a different standard for Jeb Bush because he was from a wealthy family going to a wealthy school, and he got off scot-free. And guess what? So did Jeb Bush's daughter. While Jeb Bush was governor, his daughter had problems with prescription drugs. She was arrested for that. I believe that it's not a crime. It should be treated as a medical condition. If you've got an addiction to stuff like that, I don't think she should have been locked up. But Jeb Bush would lock up your daughter if she were in the same position. Instead, 
You've got the guy who is presiding over it. The judge gets a massive contribution to one of his favorite charities. And the only person who gets in any trouble over it, of course, is the reporter who exposes it. Now, also at CPAC was Michael Hayden, former director of the NSA. And prior to that, former director of the CIA. He had this to say at the NSA where he was debating Judge Napolitano. Napolitano. Here's what Michael Hayden said. If NSA were even capable of doing what the judge has just outlined for you, we wouldn't be having a debate here today. Mm. There would be nothing to argue about. <laughs> Let's talk about I would be reality. In complete control. Let's talk about facts. The judge is an unrelenting libertarian. Yes, Judge Apolitano is. So am I. <laughs> and I am an unrelenting libertarian who is also responsible for four decades of his life for another important part of that document. The part that says, provide for the common defense. Mm. Okay, stop it right there. I think the best retort to that that I saw came from Mark Dice. He put on Twitter. What he meant to say was not that I'm an unrelenting libertarian. What Michael Hayden meant to say was, I'm an unrelenting Luciferian. <laughs> this, this is a guy, you know, kind of like Michael Aquino, uh, another person who was high up in the NSA. Look, if you're going to provide for the common defense, okay, you got to ask the question, what is he defending? Is he defending the Constitution that he swore to uphold? No. Is he defending the rule of law? No. Is he defending your individual liberties? No, he is trampling on all of that. No, what he is defending is continuity of government. And he will defend his criminal actions and the criminal actions of the agencies that he was in charge of in order to defend their power base. Listen, a libertarian values liberty. A libertarian values liberty above security. A libertarian doesn't trade his liberty for the promise of security. We know that that never works out. Whenever you give up your liberty for the promise of security, you get neither. As Benjamin Franklin said, you deserve neither. Well, you don't get either. You never get either of those. If you become a slave, you will never be secure. It's just that simple. If you want to live in a maximum security society, that's the same as living in our worst prisons. We call our worst prisons maximum security. Now, about a month ago, Michael Hayden went to Washington and Lee University, and he made some equally amazing statements there. And I did a report on it about a month ago. I want to play as much of that as we have time for before we go to break. Let's go to that report. There's a very interesting video that got posted by Washington and Lee University over the weekend. Michael Hayden, who has been at the top of the intelligence community as the surveillance state of the 21st century has been put into place. He was someone who began as the NSA director around the time of 9-11, shortly prior to that. He then moved on to director of national intelligence, then on to the CIA. He's pretty unapologetic about how he's broken the law, and he made some amazing statements at this law symposium. I'm not a law enforcement officer. I don't suspect anybody. He's not law enforcement. He doesn't have any suspects. So I guess that would be why he doesn't go before a judge and get a search warrant. Now remember that in 2006, Michael Hayden told some reporters that the term probable cause is not in the Fourth Amendment. Well, it certainly is in the Fourth Amendment. Of course, it is a right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects. See, that's a right of the people. These are rights that we possess, whether or not there's a Constitution or a Fourth Amendment. And the reason that we have the Fourth Amendment is because it puts prohibitions on people like Michael Hayden, who think that they don't have or should not have any kind of controls on their actions. They should go before a judge and say that they have a reason to search for the person, and they should be very specific about it. But he's turned this upside down. Instead of going to a judge and getting a search warrant saying, this is what I'm looking for, he does a dragnet surveillance of everyone about everything. Here's what Elsie had to say. This is not about guilt. In fact, in fact, let me, let me, let me be really clear, okay? NSA doesn't just listen to bad people. NSA listens to interesting people. <laughs> people... <laughs> Isn't that funny? He doesn't listen to bad people. He listens to interesting people. Ha ha. 
Who does he find interesting? Is it the political opponents of his boss? Is it somebody that would reign in the surveillance state? Maybe it's somebody that he'd like to blackmail. Maybe it's someone that would give him some information about insider trading on financial uh, markets. Maybe it's corporate secrets from another country. Maybe he's just some kind of a perverted voyeur. Whatever. He doesn't believe that there's any restraints on him. And what you need to understand is that the lie that we're giving up our freedoms so they can protect us from the bad guys is just that. It's a lie. He doesn't care about bad people. He cares about interesting people. Maybe he'll take an interest in you. Let's listen to what he said about Section 215. A lot of commentary was made about Jim Clapper and the question from Juan Wyden on, the, on that, you know, about mass bulk collection and so on. Jim's answer was horrible. All right? And Jim's, Jim's an honest guy. He, he, just, he just hosed it horribly. Yeah, he lied. Let's continue. He hosed it because he flat out lied under oath. But of course, if you're part of the intelligence community, you won't go to jail for lying under oath. Jim's answer was not as bad as Ron Wyden's question. Oh, it's the question that's the problem. I don't really know what a dossier is in this context. So what I wanted to see is if you could give me a yes or no answer to the question, does the NSA collect any type of data at all? Now this is Ron Wyden talking to James Clapper. And of course, this is the famous quote where Clapper looks down and rubs his eyes and he can't look him in the eye because he's lying, not only to the senator, but to America. And he was exposed shortly after that. Stay with us. I want to run the rest of those remarks from our libertarian, Michael Hayden. Stay with us. When cells become toxic, they die early and aging sets in. No one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. Just one of the key compounds, BioPQQ, is backed by major clinical studies. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? We now have the synergistic solution. Secure your DNA force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. The average person's life is filled with unexpected challenges. Unlock the energy it takes to defeat these daily beasts with super male or super female vitality, specifically designed to assist the body in regulating proper hormone balance to create superior vitality in males and females. Supercharge and conquer your world at InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-88-253-3139. Used since before the days of the Roman Empire to support the body's natural systems and enhance overall health. Introducing the new InfoWarsLife.com oil of oregano formulation, a highly advanced nutraceutical form of this key herb that has been traditionally used by civilizations for thousands of years to promote health. We have now procured the most high quality and potent forms of oregano oil on the market, sourced from top leading manufacturers to ensure a concentrated level of bioactive ingredients extracted directly from the wild herb and sealed in easy to use capsules you will no longer need to endure the burning of liquid oregano on the tongue wild crafted from the mediterranean oregano species that experts agree is one of the most powerful and most challenging to acquire this winter season it's more important than ever to secure this true form of oil of oregano now available in our limited first run at infowarslife.com that's infowarslife.com or call 888-253-3139 Alex Jones here. For the last two years, I've been working with top doctors, nutritionists, and chemists to design a nutraceutical formulation that has truly life-changing health benefits. So many other formulations out there contain toxic ingredients, synthetic additives, and even GMOs. Introducing the all-new Ancient Defense Herbal Immunity Blend, crafted with over 14 key ancient herbs and extracts to supercharge and prepare your body for what experts admit is the most dangerous season of the year. We have rejected hundreds of other formulations in our quest to bring you what is simply the most powerful and comprehensive proprietary formula that we have ever created in the realm of herbal immunity. Experience the benefits of combining over 14 ancient herbs and extracts with exciting new advances in nutraceutical science. Now is the time to secure ancient defense for you and your family. Visit InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-888-253-3139. That's InfoWarsLife.com.
Another major health threat, this one in Toledo, Ohio, where everybody in the entire city has been told not to drink the water. Ohio's governor declaring a state of emergency. Did you know that the average person uses about 80 to 100 gallons of water at home every single day? If there's a water emergency, will you be prepared? Panicked residents forming long lines throughout the day. We're here at a supermarket in Toledo. You can see the shelves empty where water once was. To stay safe and healthy during a crisis, you must must have access to safe, clean water. Water which will not be available at your local grocery store. There's a mad dash on right now to stock up on supplies. The ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system is a must have for every modern, independently minded household. Protect your family's safety during an emergency. Go to InfoWarsStore.com today to purchase your ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system or call 1-88-253-3139. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. Crashing through the lies and disinformation, it's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, your host today. We're going to be joined in the next hour with our reporters who are in Chicago reporting about the black site exposed by the Guardian's reporters. People being detained without being charged. People being tortured. People, some claim, have died there. The same types of things that we've seen at Gitmo. Why should we expect that if the government doesn't have to be held to account for lying to Congress, for lying to the government, as we saw James Clapper in the last segment. We replayed when he was asked by Ron Wyden. Ron Wyden knew what the NSA was doing. He knew they were doing it illegally. He was putting him on the hot spot, trying to get him to confess to his illegal activities. But of course, he lied, and his lies were eventually exposed. Now, we have Michael Hayden, who was director of the NSA at the time formerly director of the CIA. Now he's retired and he's going around trying to make the case that what they did was defending the Constitution. No, he was defending the government. He was defending his bureaucracy from illegal actions. He was hiding, up, hiding and covering up the actions that they were taking. If we allow them to continue with this dragnet surveillance state, if we allow them to get by not having warrants, not having to go before a judge to get search warrants, just collect everything on everybody as, as, as they wish, if we allow them to ignore the Fourth Amendment, they're going to ignore, and they are ignoring all of our rights that were explicitly protected and all of our rights that were not explicitly protected, but protected by the Ninth Amendment. Remember that the Ninth Amendment the ninth of the Articles of the Bill of Rights, said that if we don't specifically enumerate a right, that doesn't mean that it's still, that it's not important. And it doesn't mean that we have relinquished it to the central government. And then essentially making the case even stronger with the 10th Amendment saying, things that have not been expressly delegated to the central government are reserved to the states and to the people. So if we let them get by with this, we are going to see that we no longer have habeas corpus. We're not going to have trial by jury. We're not going to have trials of any sorts. We're going to have an NDAA type of country. And of course, Obama's NDAA, indefinite detention without trial, that has been going on in Chicago for quite some time. And of course, Obama and Rahm Emanuel, who was his chief of staff at the time, very well knew that. So what we're seeing in Chicago with this investigation that uh, Joe Biggs is looking at, this is very important to understand what's going on there is not isolated to there. It was exported from there to Gitmo, and it's being exported to the rest of the country. And we need to look at this, and we need to reform it. We cannot allow this to continue. Now, I was playing the remarks from Michael Hayden in the last segment because I think it's very important to disassemble this guy's lies. And we need to walk this back and look at what these people are trying to do to our country. This is a civil war on our country, destroying our legal framework, destroying rights that have been there since Magna Carta, that have been respected throughout the English-speaking world for centuries. They are now taking these things down. They're laying an infrastructure of tyranny and using the latest 
and highest technology to do so. It's a very dangerous situation. I want to go back to that report. We're going to go to Joe Biggs in the next hour. Real quickly, a plug. I, I mentioned earlier in the show that super male vitality is now sold out. We still have some super female vitality that we're honoring the 20% off that was the special in February. We also have on special a limited stock of Buy 2 Survival Shield X2. That's our nascent iodine. And you get two ancient defense for free. That's at the InfoWars store. That's Two bottles of Survival Shield X2, and you get one bottle of Ancient Defense for free. That's at the InfoWarsStore.com. I want to go back to this report that we did about a month ago on the Nightly News. This was Michael Hayden talking at Washington and Lee. And, of course, what brings this up is the fact that he had the audacity to look people in the eye at CPAC and say, Judge Napolitano is an unrelenting libertarian, and so am I. He's not a libertarian at all. He doesn't value our individual liberty. He doesn't respect our rights. He doesn't respect the law or the Constitution. Here's more of what he had to say. I want to pick up this report we were playing last time. This is right after we played the back and forth between Senator Wyden talking to James Clapper. And James Clapper also was lying and could not look Ron Wyden in the face. We'll pick up with my comments. Okay, so he says that all the senators, all their staffers knew that the 215 program was being abused. And I agree with him. Rod Wyden should have come out and said it. But I think it's a bit more interesting to hear the head of the NSA lie to Congress, lie to the American people. The whole program is a lie. The way that they're using the 215 section that they were given under the Patriot Act, even if that were constitutional, they're still exceeding their authority because that was supposed to be going after people that essentially you could get a search warrant for. Although you didn't have to go before a real judge, you just had to go before the FISA judge. But listen to what else he has to say. Why was Wyden trying to get Clapper to say what he was saying? Because Wyden, in the committee, was losing the vote on 215 consistently 15 to 2. So you put those two clips together and you understand that all the senators knew what was going on that were in the Senate Intelligence Committee. They knew that 215 was being abused, that they were going beyond their legal authority, which went beyond their constitutional authority. Their staffers knew. And Ron Wyden could not get them to do the right thing. 15 to 2, they were going to allow this continued abuse by the intelligence community. That's what he's saying. He's really making a case for how corrupt the Senate is. And it's gotten even worse. Ron Wyden is no longer there. And now we have Senator Burr from North Carolina who says he doesn't think there should be any public oversight of anything the intelligence community does. Listen to this last clip here. Oh, your talk today about 215? Two, 215 two is such a safe haven. 215 is legislated by Congress. I was doing metadata collection under the president's raw Article II authorities from October 7, 2001 forward. Catch that? Look at the smug expression on his face. He's so happy. He didn't need any 215. I don't need no stinking law. I'm a law unto myself. I take orders directly from the president. Or maybe he gives orders directly to the president. Who knows? They do whatever they wish. He doesn't need the 215. He doesn't need a law from Congress. He doesn't need the Patriot Act and he could care less about the Constitution. Listen to what else he has to say. The 215 program doesn't begin with the Patriot Act. It begins with the private order I got from President Bush. And we decided it was lawful and consistent with the President's authorities as Commander-in-Chief. Yeah, we decided what the law is. They did it in secret. And of course, you're not going to be allowed to know anything that he does because that would hurt his effectiveness. To look at people who are interesting, not people who are bad guys. Tell us what you think in the comments below. I think this okay, is Okay, that's a report from about a month ago. We ran that on the nightly news. Those were the amazing comments that Michael Hayden made at Washington and Lee as part of a legal forum there. Can you believe that? Of course, he had the audacity to go to CPAC and say that he was a libertarian. And as I pointed out, I think Mark Dice had the best comment when he said he meant to say a Luciferian, uh, not a libertarian. Now, it's not just looking at our internet activity. Of course, we've talked about how the government is rapidly closing the noose on our movements in this country, coming up with autonomous cars, coming up with many different devices that they're going to put into our cars to not only control them, but to monitor them. And of course, when they monitor what you're doing, they're going to force you to stand down 
and turn over control of your car to them. That's what this is fundamentally about. You may not know it, but you have a black box in your car if you're going to buy one this year. Now, there was an interesting article from the National Motorist Association written by its president talking about black boxes and Orwell. He says, imagine that you're inserting a benign microchip in a person's earlobe and you're monitoring that person's every move. Well, that's no longer science fiction. It's perfectly feasible and, of course, tens of millions will willingly comply with the requirement for that. All you need are the right incentives. And you say, no, that would never happen in America. We would never stand for it. He says, well, I got news for you. He said, they already, they will. In fact, you already have that. The only difference is that the chip is not in your ear, it's in your car, and it's soon going to be in your bike. Well, this is not something that is just watching you move around like your phone. No, he says, private and government transportation interests are licking their chops for years in anticipation of being able to charge and to tax motorists on the basis of how, when, and where they travel. He says, imagine you've got an accident and you're going 40 miles an hour in a 30 zone and somebody pulls in front of you. It's clearly his fault, but they look at the black box and they see you were going too fast. And then they go back and they say, oh, you have gone several times in the last six months up to 90 miles an hour. Perhaps you were passing somebody in the speeding zone, doing it safely, going up to 87, passing somebody that was going 60 in a 70 zone. Nevertheless, they will use that to say you're a dangerous driver and deny your claim. And that's not where it's going to stop. It will continue to go there until we stop these people from their surveillance state. Stay with us. In the next hour, we're going to be talking to Staff Sergeant Joe Biggs in Chicago about the black sites there. Stay with us. Using unparalleled research in the development of a synergistic formulation based around the key concepts of super oxygenation, the next level in cleansing is here. With key ingredients backed by real clinical studies, the new Oxy Powder, available through InfoWars Life, was invented during Dr. Group's research on the toxification of our bodies. Many herbal colon cleansers are harsh on the body and contain cheap and potentially dangerous ingredients, oftentimes full of synthetic fillers, GMOs, additives, or worse. Gently start cleaning your body with easy capsules that start working while you sleep. Oxy powder does not require time off work, and there's no need for bad tasting concoctions. Instead, Oxy powder slowly releases monoatomic oxygen into the intestinal tract and body. Experience the astonishing cleansing power of superoxide and ozonide technology. Go to InfoWarsLife.com or InfoWarsStore.com to get started with Oxy powder, or call 1-888-253-3139. For all of recorded history, civilizations around the world praised the health benefits of silver. At InfoWars Life, our mission is to bring you the highest quality, purest, cleanest, effective colloidal silver on the market today for the lowest price available. You don't have to be a doctor to know. The fall and winter months are the most dangerous time of year in North America when it comes to you and your family's health. InfoWarsLife.com is very excited to announce our biggest run yet of silver bullet colloidal silver exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com. Now InfoWarsLife.com has taken colloidal silver to the next level using a cutting edge technique that is free of toxic artificial additives. Now more than ever it's important to stock up on high quality silver bullet from InfoWarsLife.com. No survival chest is complete without silver bullet. Secure your silver bullet today at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll free 888-253-3139. Silver bullet. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. From his Central Texas Command Center, deep behind enemy lines, the information war continues. It's Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, your host this hour. We're going to be talking to Joe Biggs and our reporters in Chicago. They're at the reported site of a uh, black interrogation site, a dark interrogation site, where there are charges that people have been held without being charged with a crime, just like the NDAA, charges that they have been tortured, that they have, some of them uh, alleged, even have died there. So we're going to be talking to uh, Joe Biggs. There was a protest there yesterday. I want to talk to him about that as well as the way that it's being covered in the local press in Chicago because it looks like they're pushing back on this and covering somewhat for the 
uh, police department there. Of course, we know that Obama and Rahm Emanuel knew that this was going on. This has been going on for quite some time. It's tied back to the war on drugs. And of course, it is also tied to Gitmo. That's how uh, the Guardian found the site. They were actually investigating Gitmo torture. I want to go to that, but I want to finish up with what I was talking about with these black box recorders that are put in your cars. This is something that they've been gradually adding for the last 20 years. It goes back to uh, 1994, the first cars, first a few American car manufacturers and a couple of models started putting these devices in. Gradually, they started adding additional models. Other manufacturers came in and started adding it gradually. But as of September of last year, 2000. 14, all new cars and light trucks and vans and SUVs sold in the U.S. will be equipped with one of these data recorders. And, of course, they can store everything that you're doing. Approximately uh, five seconds before an accident, they will go back and back this up. It's uh, going to record your vehicle speed, your throttle position, your brake application, your engine speed, and your velocity change through the collision. But, of course, there's other aspects of this they'll be able to do as well. They might have sensors alongside the road that if your exhaust is above a certain level, maybe they will shut you down and make you limp back home. That's also built into these devices. There's a lot of different ways they can use this. They're going to use it to charge us by the mile as well as the taxes that they put into our gasoline. And they are going to use it to drive you from behind the steering wheel to make sure that computer-driven, government-controlled cars are going to be the norm. They will turn driving your car into a hobby at the track. You will not be able to use it for transportation. And that's something that should concern all of us because this goes beyond just total surveillance and taxation. This impinges upon our very ability to move about in a country. Now, along that line, there was an article up on Friday on Infowars.com. Why your smartphone records everything you say to it. Guess what? We know that it's recording us, but did you know that according to the terms of service, Google, Apple, Microsoft, all these companies, not just Samsung, they're recording your voice commands and saving them, saving them for up to two years. And as we pointed out in this article, often these recordings are not encrypted. So they're potentially vulnerable to hackers, and the recordings will capture personal conversations as well as legitimate commands. So if you use your phone to speak into it for voice recognition, it's going to grab that. It may be listening to you all the time, just like your Samsung uh, devices, and recording that for the manufacturers to go through, not just for the NSA. Of course, we should all be concerned about that. Now, before we go to Joe in Chicago, I want to give you a little idea of how The Guardian tracked this down to uh, this black site. The, one of the first reports that they had, going back to the 18th of February, said that they were looking at Gitmo torturing, and they found a longtime detective from Chicago. They found that his tactics had been exported from Chicago to Guantanamo. So you see... Guantanamo torture has its roots in Obama's Chicago. The guy's name is Richard Zuli. He's a detective on Chicago's north side. He worked from 1977 to 2007, 30 years. His record, they say, suggests a continuum between police abuse in urban America and the wartime detention scandals at Gitmo because he was brought there as a U.S. Navy Reserve Lieutenant. And we're running up to the time break. We're going to continue with this as we come back. I'll lead into this, and we're going to go to Staff Sergeant Joe Biggs, retired in Chicago at this site. We're going to talk to him about what he's seeing there. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Used since before the days of the Roman Empire to support the body's natural systems and enhance overall health. Introducing the new InfoWarsLife.com oil of oregano formulation, a highly advanced nutraceutical form of this key herb that has been traditionally used by civilizations for thousands of years to promote health. We have now procured the most high quality and potent forms of oregano oil on the market, sourced from top leading manufacturers to ensure a concentrated level of bioactive ingredients extracted directly from the wild herb and sealed in easy-to-use capsules, you will no longer need to endure the burning of liquid oregano on the tongue. 
wild-crafted from the Mediterranean oregano species that experts agree is one of the most powerful and most challenging to acquire. This winter season, it's more important than ever to secure this true form of oil of oregano. Now available in our limited first run at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. took the guns. Stalin took the guns. Mao took the guns. Fidel okay. Castro took the guns. Hugo Chavez took the guns. 1776 will commence again if you try to take our firearms. The Republic will rise again when you attempt to take our guns. I have sworn upon the altar of God eternal hostility against every form of tyranny over the mind of man. The answer to 1984 is 1776. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. Welcome back to The Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, your host today. We're going to be going to our reporters in Chicago at what has been reported by The Guardian as being a, and they've talked to several witnesses who have given this, this information as well as several lawyers saying people are being held there without being charged, without being arraigned. They're being held there for a very long time. Some of them tortured. There's allegations that people have died from this site. And so we're going to talk to uh, our reporters what they saw yesterday at the demonstration and what they see today. As I was pointing out in the last segment, this has a connection to Gitmo. It was actually in the, the investigation of Gitmo that the Guardian found this site. Specifically, they were looking at a Chicago detective, Richard Zuli, who had worked for 30 years in Chicago as a detective, and then was a U.S. Navy reservist, a lieutenant. And he went to Gitmo, and they say that uh, what he did there has severely damaged the reputation of the United States. That's putting it mildly. It has severely damaged the rule of law in this country, and it has gone far beyond just our reputation. Now, they point out that this man is currently uh, under investigation for two wrongful convictions. In one of these wrongful convictions, uh, it was a 2013 decision by the state's attorney, Anita Alvarez. She freed an innocent man, they say, that Zuli's faulty police work sent to prison for 23 years. Lethariel Boyd was convicted in 1990 of murder. He, was, he accuses Zuli in a federal civil rights lawsuit of planting evidence and withholding crucial details. Now, this guy went on to work at Gitmo as a Navy reservist. And what he did there was uh, participate in one of the most highly, highly profiled uh, torture cases against a man named Slahi. Inmates said that they confessed untruthfully in order to try and stop the treatments by this fellow Zuli. And Mark Fallon, the former deputy commander of Gitmo's now shuttered investigative task force, this is what The Guardian says, said that what he did was illegal, it was immoral, it was ineffective, and it was unconstitutional. Nevertheless, this is what's been going on in Chicago for some time. And of course, Obama and Rahm Emanuel knew about it. This was something that has been going on in the Chicago Police Department. Nothing was done about it. Right now, let's go to our reporters in the uh, area. Staff Sergeant Joe Biggs retired, and Josh Owens is working as cameraman. Let's go to uh, Joe Biggs. Joe? Joe Biggs here with InfoWars.com. We are uh, actually in downtown Chicago, out near the pier. We kind of wanted to show you what global warming has done as well, <laughs> the, uh, the frozen... Uh, lake or actually that's just uh, an illusion it's not really there it's a nice sunny warm day out here at the lake people are laying out and enjoying the the sun now you guys did a very good video that's up on uh, infowars kind of summarizing what happened at the demonstrations yesterday and people's comments about that uh, joe i want to play a little bit about uh, a, a little bit of that report just the area where uh, people are commenting at the demonstration uh guys can you roll that tape and then i want to get uh, with you joe and talk about that okay when you're torturing somebody it affects them for the rest of their life when you're torturing an innocent person that's worse or trying to force somebody to give information 
he's going to lie. He's not going to give you the facts because he just wants to stop being hurt. And to hide a facility like this, and what they're doing is they're hiding it in rural, down neighborhoods where nobody would think of looking for it. The worst thing was it had to be someone from the Guardian. Where the blank were, was our medium. Yeah. I mean, that's, I frankly tend to get my news from the internet now. I mean, I don't, I don't trust the media, the media anymore. I was, I was livid. I was absolutely livid when I heard all of this. Uh, it, it, the anger, it, it just kind of swells and it's just like, you know, you got to be able to do something. And uh, coming out here today and raising awareness to this, uh, what is actually happening is, is uh, I guess, uh, the route to go right now. I always, I always quote this, this phrase from Carlin, George Carlin, uh, you know, there's, uh, there's a club and you ain't in it. And there's a high school right next door to this place. I mean, and to have torture going on next to where we're educating the next generation of gatekeepers is sad. This is their community just as it is ours. And uh, I hope, you know, that they keep that in mind and uh, really take a hard look at, at some of these policies that are coming down from the federal government and being instituted here at the state level, the local level. And because, you know, at the end of the day, they're the, they're the last line of defense between, between us and, and this sort of tyranny that we're seeing here today. All right, that's just a short excerpt from this report that you'll find up on uh, Infowars.com. An excellent report that you and Josh Owens put together. I would suggest people take a look at all that. But, Joe, one of the things that really stuck out to me about that, and, of course, there was a, a, lot, of, uh, a lot of very amazing things that were said later on in that report about how they treat people. But that lady said... Where is our press? Where's our media? We had to get somebody from the UK to come over here and report on this. And she said, I don't trust them anymore. I get my news from the internet. Let me read you, Joe, and get some of your reactions to the headlines that we're seeing there. Of course, we've got a radio station there, WBEZ 91.5, saying in the past few years, reporters and other journalists have been to the facility for tours and interviews as well as press conferences. And it's essentially show and tell where the police will show a huge amount of drugs they've seized in various cases. You have a lot of media there and television cameras. But then the Guardian reporter says, look, it wasn't a mischaracterization. That's the headline of the article saying that the calling it a black site was a mischaracterization. He says, you can find certain black sites like this in Romania and Poland that are out in the open. It's not the visibility of a facility. It's what goes on in the facility that makes it secret. That's exactly true, Joe. I mean, how, how absurd is that that the press would say, well, I didn't see anything when I was there. So, of course, it didn't happen. We just had a case in New York a guy who had a factory that made maraschino cherries, and he had a massive pot op operation going in the same factory. And of course, the power usage and the uh, you know and the fact that the the cherries were there with a very pungent smell covered up any detection of the pot operation. Nobody knew about it, but him and a couple of other guys. And that's exactly what's going on at this black site. Well, exactly. That's when I spoke with the uh, defense attorney Anthony Hill, the one who uh, basically you know brought the sword to the garden. With the confirmation about what's really going on in there. That's one of the things he told me. He said, I was telling people about this, and they would all kind of joke and be like, are you serious? Like yesterday, we just had a conference over there, a press conference. I didn't see anyone getting uh, tortured. And he goes, yeah, but there's still four more floors above your head. It's a five-story building. You know, we had these reports of people in there that are being held. They can hear other people screaming in there as well. So it's amazing that there's this huge blackout in the media, you know, People are joking about it. They're saying that, yeah, that it's being mischaracterized. You know, even the cops that were out there were just coming up and going, oh, this is a black side, huh? Guantanamo, yeah. Okay, that's funny. And they would just walk off and laugh and go back into the building. So, I, I mean... I think it's pretty amazing. We've got a, a, the way MSNBC covered it, Joe, as they said, the Chicago Police Department speaks on the Homan Square facility. They put the press release from the Chicago Police Department in here without any comments whatsoever. Just pure propaganda without any questioning. I guess, of course, if you were to question what the uh, Chicago police said, then we would be conspiracy theorists because the way the MSNBC works is to never question what the government says. Listen to what they said in this. They said, Chicago police abide by all laws, rules, and guidelines. And the allegation that physical violence as a part of interviews and suspects is unequivocally false, offensive, not supported by any facts whatsoever. 
MSNBC doesn't have any reports about the people who have come forward, about the lawyers who have come forward, who have said that exactly the same thing happened to them that happened to you guys on Friday. When you walk up, they won't talk to anybody. They won't acknowledge anything. They just send you away. And yet he, he had that happen for several times. He called somebody that he knew inside the police department. And within a couple of minutes, they came out and they let him in. And of course, uh, his, 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 uh, defense, his client was still in there. And that's somebody that had the money to get a lawyer. And that's the problem. They're doing this in a poor area. Stay with us. We're going to be right back with Joe Biggs in Chicago. The government's Department of Homeland Security is buying up loads of ammo. At the same time, they're restricting civilians' rights to own and purchase firearms. Can you put two and two together? Infidel body armor can stop every round, including hollow points and 308 sniper rounds. Is reasonably priced and fully legal. But for how long? Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com, spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L, BodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit. When cells become toxic, they die early and aging sets in. No one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. Just one of the key compounds, BioPQQ, is backed by major clinical studies. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? We now have the synergistic solution. Secure your DNA force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. For all of recorded history, civilizations around the world praised the health benefits of silver. At InfoWars Life, our mission is to bring you the highest quality, purest, cleanest, effective colloidal silver on the market today for the lowest price available. You don't have to be a doctor to know. The fall and winter months are the most dangerous time of year in North America when it comes to you and your family's health. InfoWarsLife.com is very excited to announce our biggest run yet of Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver, exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com. Now InfoWarsLife.com has taken colloidal silver to the next level using a cutting-edge technique that is free of toxic artificial additives. Now more than ever, it's important to stock up on high-quality Silver Bullet from InfoWarsLife.com. No survival chest is complete without Silver Bullet. Secure your Silver Bullet today at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. Silver Bullet. You can now listen to The Alex Jones Show live on the free TuneIn Radio app, featuring over 100,000 real radio stations, over 4 million podcasts streaming live from every continent, offering unprecedented access to listen to anything, anywhere. TuneIn lets you listen to over 100,000 real radio stations and more than 4 million podcasts from every continent, 200,000 mobile downloads per day, available on iPhone, iPad, Android, and Android tablets, Windows 8, BlackBerry, Amazon Kindle. Available in over 200 branded products with millions of devices sold worldwide, including Samsung Smart TV, Roku, Sonos, Sony, Sony PlayStation, Amazon Echo, Panasonic Viera TV, Logitech Squeezebox. Tune in brings streaming radio to cars, including GM, Ford, BMW, Tesla, Mercedes-Benz, Volvo, Nissan, Fiat, and more. Alex Jones here. For the last two years, I've been working with top doctors, nutritionists, and chemists to design a nutraceutical formulation that has truly life-changing health benefits. So many other formulations out there contain toxic ingredients, synthetic additives, and even GMOs. Introducing the all-new Ancient Defense Herbal Immunity Blend, crafted with over 14 key ancient herbs and extracts to supercharge and prepare your body for what experts admit is the most dangerous season of the year. We have rejected hundreds of other formulations in our quest to bring you what is simply the most powerful and comprehensive proprietary formula that we have ever created in the realm of herbal immunity. Experience the benefits of combining over 14 ancient herbs and extracts with exciting new advances in nutraceutical science. Now is the time to secure ancient defense for you and your family. Visit InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-888-253-3139. That's InfoWarsLife.com. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. You are listening to... 
to an InfoWars.com Frontline Report. It's Alex Jones. Welcome back to The Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight. We're talking to our reporters in Chicago. And one of the things that allows us to send them there, of course, is your support. Buying the products that we sell at InfoWarsStore.com. This last month, in the month of February, we had a special for super male and super female vitality, 20% off of both of those. We are now officially sold out of the super male vitality. We still have a limited quantity of super female vitality. We will continue to make that available for 20% off. That's at the InfoWarsStore.com. And, of course, the majority of what's in there is uh, there's a lot of commonality between those two. There's some things that are different for the super female and super male, but it's nothing that's estrogenic, nothing that you have to worry about feminizing you like you would have to worry about with BPA plastic, for example, which is in most of the cans and bottles that you get everywhere else. So if you uh, are out of your super male, you can also use super female vitality without worrying about it. Let's go back to uh, our reporters in Chicago. We've got uh, Joe Biggs. We're just talking to him. He's freezing in the cold there, and he's gonna, this is the last segment uh, that Joe's going to be with us. So Joe, give us uh, an overview, real quick summary of what's happened uh, this last weekend and uh, what you're looking forward to the next couple of days. Well, one of the interesting uh, things that we were talking about earlier about with the media blackout, what people like Fox News, CNN, MSNBC, what they do is they hear about this and then they call the Chicago Police Department and go, uh, do you guys have a black site? They go, no. And they go, okay, that story's, uh, <laughs> that's not true. That's bogus. We've investigated. Right. They yeah. told us no. So, you know, they just. <laughs> just, they, just like just the NSA like, told us they weren't, they weren't uh, listening we're, to we're, our, we're, collecting our stuff, right? <laughs> yeah, we're, we're not listening to your data on your phone. We're not going through your phone. We're not yeah. firing on you through your webcams. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, but I was, uh, I was able to uh, reach out. I haven't got a response yet, but I reached out to one of the victims who was held there. His name was uh, DeAndre Hutchinson. He was one of the uh, gentlemen who was held there for, I think, upwards of three days, uh, stripped down, shackled to a wall, and punched in the face. Uh, he said the uh, guard uh, put him down on the ground and then stomped on his testicles. So, I mean, there's definitely some very intense tactics that are being used on these people and this man said that he heard people screaming in other areas he didn't he wasn't able to talk to anyone for three days yeah Joe, i don't know if, if it was that guy one guy they had basically they said he, he they handcuffed him with his arms straight you know to either side stretched out like he's crucified and then one of the cops uh, beat him and then basically put his foot on his groin and just rubbed it like he was putting out a cigarette butt yeah yeah i mean it and it's and it's so mind blowing that the mainstream media will not jump on this, will not cover it. They won't lift a finger. They they have the same attitude as the cops who come in and out of there, just kind of like laugh it and joke it off. This isn't a laughing or joking matter whatsoever. And one of the interesting things about the blackout in the media, like you were talking about earlier, is no one here knew about this until yesterday. A lot of the people that were driving by who stopped to be a part of the protest were just happened to drive by and saying, what is this? I drive by this place every day. And we're like, well, this is the black site. This is a Chicago PD torture center. And they're like, really? We drive by this every day. I didn't know. So there's a huge, you know, media blackout. I mean, unless you really are into alternative media, you get your news from the mm -hmm. internet, you're watching InfoWars, you're watching other channels like us, you're not going to get the full story, and that's the sad thing. A Let, lot me give of these you this. People Let me give you this headline. Sorry, Joe. NPR, and get your reaction to this. Even if the Chicago black site story is a stretch, this is National Public Radio, it stirred up bad memories. In other words, it's not happening. It's just history, but we empathize with your suffering is what they're saying. Essentially, yeah. that's NPR. That's the way they may. So they're saying, well, we're not ignoring it, you know, and but it's not real. Don't worry about it. Uh, but, you know, it, it brings up bad memories of things that no longer happen anymore. That's the way that a total spin on this. I mean, it's disgusting. Tell it to the people who've been held there that that, that place is not real. Yeah. You no, know, that that being in that place, that would change you for the rest of your life. That's something that you would lose all trust for any kind of police officer, anybody out there who's a public servant that's supposed to have your best interests at hand. But they're not. I mean, this goes against everything we stand for. And it, it, it breaks my heart when you don't see enough people angry, pissed off about this. People should be calling in and demanding for this place to be shut down nonstop. And we're not getting that reaction. More people are concerned about a shape-shifting, color-shifting dress or what 
uh, one of these celebrities is doing. That's right. People will go up in arms if you post something negative about their football team. People will argue with you and comment, and you'll get 10 million views if mm -hmm. you say a football team sucks. But if you talk about a torture center on American soil here in Chicago, people don't care. And it, it just it, it breaks my heart. Absolutely. They just can't believe that anything like this could ever happen in America, even when we show them that it's happening, even when we talk to the people who have seen it happening, the lawyers, the individuals who had this happen to them. It's amazing. And at first it was just one person. Then you had another person come out and another and another. And so then you got other lawyers who are coming out and talking about this. So it's starting to build. Hopefully that'll that'll help. But I remember when the NDAA was first passed, when Obama signed it on uh, New Year's Eve and said, uh, when he had previously said, hey, don't worry, I'm not going to sign anything that authorizes the U.S. military to detain people on American soil indefinitely without charges, without trial. I'm not going to sign that. And then he signs it on New Year's Eve and then says, don't worry, I'm not going to implement it when it was happening in his own hometown. And he pretty well knew about it. That's what a lot of people believe, that, that uh, he and Rahm Emanuel fully knew about all of this, and I think they did as well. Oh, of course, they had to. I mean, this is his, this is his hometown. He's going to know all about this, and I'm sure this is their testing ground, and it's been a testing ground for what they plan to do down the road. Yeah, absolutely. There's a, in one of the uh, Guardian articles here, they have a quote from someone who says, over the last 25 years, Joe, we've repeatedly brought the Justice Department and U.S. attorneys powerful evidence of systemic police torture, repeater cops running wild without discipline or supervision, and a myriad of other patterns of outrageous police misconduct. And he goes on to say, when Barack Obama was an Illinois state senator, he assiduously avoided any acknowledgement of or involvement in the fight against police torture, as did then Congressman Rahm Emanuel, who later became Obama's chief of staff. So this is where it begins. These guys have this going on in their city, they don't do anything about it, except what they do, Joe, is they bring it to a national level. And they have people like this uh, police detective taking the torturing to Gitmo, one of the worst offenders there. I mean, the president back in June already uh, signed off on the, uh, the paperwork to allow him to detain anybody that they think have a... Uh like Ebola or something like that, yeah. just like they had up in New Jersey with uh, Chris Christie. So, I mean, it, it just it keeps clamping down. This stuff keeps happening. And they're amping their game up. The government is preparing for what they're doing. But the people and masses are not waking up. Yeah. And that's what needs to happen. People need to wake up and pay attention. They need to look and see what's going on because too many people are ignoring this stuff. And at the end of the day, when it finally happens, this great awakening, it's going to be too late. They're going to have all the guns. They're going to have all the bullets. They're going to have all the power. And we're not going to be anything except a bunch of slaves sitting around being tortured by these guys. Joe, we got to go to break in just a couple of minutes. But before we do, there's an article that's up on our site today about Google. It wants to rank websites based on truthiness, essentially not on their links or, or, or what they, the content that they have. And I guess that begs the question as to who gets to decide what's truthful. What's true? Yeah. yeah, is that Snopes, is that Google? And once they, if, they're going, if the mainstream media is gonna to try to cover up something like this black site here and we report on it, then are we gonna be down listed on Google searches? That looks like that's what's going to happen. Well, you're going to be there tomorrow, right? You're going to be live on the radio show with uh, Alex Jones tomorrow with another report. Is that correct? I'm not sure if I'm going to be on the show because I'll be talking to the lawyer during okay. that time. All right. Well, stay with us. We'll be uh, posting your reports on Infowars.com. Thank you. Joe Biggs in Chicago. Stay with us. We'll be Used right back. since before the days of the Roman Empire to support the body's natural systems and enhance overall health. Introducing the new InfoWarsLife.com, oil of oregano formulation, a highly advanced nutraceutical form of this key herb that has been traditionally used by civilizations for thousands of years to promote health. We have now procured the most high quality and potent forms of oregano oil on the market, sourced from top leading manufacturers to ensure a concentrated level of bioactive ingredients extracted directly from the wild herb and sealed in easy to use capsules. You will no longer need to endure the burning of liquid oregano on the tongue. Wild crafted from the Mediterranean oregano species that experts agree is one of the most powerful and most challenging to acquire. This winter season, it's more important than ever to secure this true form of oil of oregano. Now available in our limited first run at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. 
sold out for weeks due to the difficult and extensive proprietary process behind its creation. The exclusive InfoWars Life Secret 12 formulation is now back in stock. This ultra-clean vitamin B12 nutraceutical has been carefully crafted and developed over the last two years and is based on cellular science of how your body actively absorbs essential nutrients. Most forms of vitamin B12 are highly processed and synthetic and could not be properly absorbed by the body. Secret 12 is a binary of nutramedical grade bioavailable coenzyme forms of B12, methocobalamin, the same kind used in B12 injections, and adenosyl cobalamin, the most bioactive form that has been created with our proprietary process. Secret 12 is taken by mouth, right on the tongue, and then swallowed. No needles, no injections. Don't take my word for it. Try it for yourself. Discover the secret. Secret 12. Supplies of Secret 12 are very limited. Secure yours today at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. In the near future. When you realize how fake it all is, the football, the basketball. Security alert. Security alert. This is Homeland Security. Analysis. InfoWars building independent media operations. We let the worst people get controlled and tell us that we are the ones responsible. Prime Directive discredit Alex Jones. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist. It's a popular conspiracy theory talk show called InfoWars. Alex Jones is now in an Austin jail. These people are assaulting us. Targeting of patriots engaged. They are never going to stop. They're never going to deviate from their program until we stop them. Block free iPhone app at InfoWars.com. Block free podcast and video feed. Imperative. Destroy Prison Planet TV. you got to set your eye on the enemy, not worry about what propaganda they put out. Intellectually, it's because you can feel it. The average person's life is filled with unexpected challenges. Unlock the energy it takes to defeat these daily beasts with super male or super female vitality. Specifically designed to assist the body in regulating proper hormone balance to create superior vitality in males and females. Supercharge and conquer your world at InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-88-253-3139. The government's Department of Homeland Security is buying up loads of ammo. At the same time, they're restricting civilians' rights to own and purchase firearms. Can you put two and two together? Infidel body armor can stop every round, including hollow points and 308 sniper rounds. Is reasonably priced and fully legal. But for how long? Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com, spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L, BodyArmor.com. Infidel body armor just won't quit. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. Waging war on corruption, it's Alex Jones. Welcome back to The Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, your host. We were just talking to our reporter, Joe Biggs, in Chicago about this story that was uh, broken by The Guardian, talking about the black site there. A black site in the sense that they would hold people there for very long periods of time without charging them with any crimes. Reports that people there had been brutalized, tortured, been handcuffed and beaten while they were handcuffed. And then uh, some people, as alleged, had died there. And of course, the police come back with a press release and say, ah, there's nothing to it. We follow all the laws. And MSNBC just repeats verbatim their PR, their press release. No comment whatsoever. Nothing about the people, the alleged victims, nothing from the lawyers. MSNBC just parrots back what the Chicago police say without any questions. See there? Didn't happen, just as Joe Biggs was saying. The same thing we saw happen when we had James Clapper obviously lying to the Senate Intelligence Committee, saying, no, 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 we're not, uh, we're not stealing any of this information. From people. We're, we're following the law everywhere, and he's looking down. He can't even look at the senator because the senator knows he's lying. The staff knows he's lying. Clapper, of course, knows he's lying. But they just... Go with this, and of course, mainstream media gives them cover. Now, that's one of the ways that they do it. As I pointed out, NPR's headline takes a little bit different spin. They say, well, this story is a stretch, even if it is a stretch, and it is, 
it stirred up bad memories about black people being singled out because it's it's been used against people politically as part of a NATO protest. They they testified they've been there, but the vast majority of the people that are being picked up with this are people that are falling under the war on drugs. And of course, that falls disproportionately on the poor and on the black, especially in the cities like Chicago. Most of the people who actually serve time for marijuana and other crimes like that, of course, are poor and black. They're not people like Jeb Bush or Jeb Bush's daughter. No, they can break the drug laws and nothing happens to them. They become president. He admits to having done that as a youthful indiscretion, just like Obama. But of course, these same people who did it when they were young will not only send people who are doing it recreationally to jail for their lives with these mandatory minimums that were enacted by Ronald Reagan. See, it's the left, it's the right, it's all of them together. They want a large prison population. They want a prison planet. But not only will they do that, but they will withhold it from people who need it for medical purposes. That's what uh, Rand Paul pointed out about Jeb Bush's hypo hypocrisy. He would use it, violate the laws for recreational purposes, yet he would deny that to people who need it for medical purposes. People who are suffering from uh, multiple uh, uh, sclerosis, people who are suffering from uh, cancer or from glaucoma, that we know this could help them with their treatment. Nevertheless, if they get it, we're going to send them to jail. We're going to allow people to choke to death on their own vomit in jail because they can't control the nausea. That was an author, I can't remember his name. He was in, um, in California. Uh, he wrote a book called Nobody's Business If You Do. Um, can't remember that. Uh, maybe you guys could look it up. But anyway, he was an activist and he wrote uh, about um, the junction of uh, the war on drugs against our liberties. And he had a judge who kept telling him that uh, he was taking treatment for AIDS and it was making him deathly nauseous, just like people get when they uh, take chemotherapy. Yes, Peter McWilliams, thank you. And uh, they told him, that, no, we don't care if it works for you. You're not going to be allowed to take it. And he says, well, I'm, not, I'm going to keep taking it. So the judge locked him up in contempt in a jail cell. And while he was in jail, could not get access to marijuana that would keep him from getting sick. He choked to death on his own vomit. That's what people like Jeb Bush will do to people while he takes it recreationally and nothing happens to him. Nothing happens to him. Now, we also see uh, other newspaper sites. Uh, this is the way the Chicago Tribune reported this black site. They say, hey, uh, this is something that's been going on for a long time. Allegations like this of police misconduct has been around this city for decades. You know, it's just a tough town. This is what they say. The Guardian stories an online advocacy campaign that's followed it have focused on the plight of several people who were arrested during the 2012 NATO summit in Chicago. Most of those people were protesters from other cities, unfamiliar with the travails of being arrested and tossed into the sprawling, messy criminal justice system of a large city with a serious, violent crime problem. Okay, so yeah, you know, it's just these people, like, they're a little bit too thin-skinned. They just don't understand that here in a big city, we're kind of tough guys. You know, we, we can, we can uh, rough you up while you're in handcuffs. We can hold you for days without tr uh, charging you with anything, and then just throw you out the door with, uh, without an apology. And of course, this is all okay because, you know, here we've got a serious violent crime problem. Yeah, you know what? You've got a violent crime problem with your police. You got a violent crime problem that is a function of the war of drugs, the war against our rights, the war against our legal system, the war against our people. That's what the war of drugs is about. It's a war conducted on us by our own government. Now, of course, it should worry us very much what our government is going trying to do in terms of taking away informed consent. And I've got a clip coming up about how that's being done in Oregon, the amazing hypocrisy of someone who is both a doctor and a senator who ought to know better, but she doesn't. She doesn't have respect for liberty. She doesn't have respect for our choices. This is something that is being laid down, all of this measles talk and mandatory vaccines. That's being done to lay the groundwork for something like an Ebola outbreak. And understand that Ebola is not over yet. Just yesterday, we had emergency responders investigating a possible Virginia Ebola case. This is medics, firefighters, and hazardous materials team. This is according to Reuters. 
investigated a possible case of Ebola in a Virginia suburb of Washington, D.C., and that was on Thursday. This uh, story came out just yesterday. They say the patient had recently traveled to a country affected by Ebola and exhibited symptoms of the disease. And, of course, they point out nearly 10,000 people have died in West Africa. This is many, many, many times more than we have ever seen from previous Ebola outbreaks. And, of course, just yesterday we learned that Sierra Leone's uh, vice president has, is now in quarantine. They still don't have it under control in Sierra Leone. Uh, Guinea and Liberia were the other two countries where they've had most of the casualties. Uh, about seven days ago, Liberia lifted their curfew. They opened their borders, but it is still raging and still increasing in Sierra Leone with the vice president of that country in quarantine. Unlike, unlike CNN reporter and Dr. Nancy Snyderman. Remember her? She was the one who said, just shut up and take your damn vaccines. There's no conspiracy here. And then... When she and her reporters were exposed to Ebola and subject to a quarantine, she was seen popping out and going down to the local drugstore to pick up some, I don't know what it was, donuts or whatever. That's the kind of hypocrisy and attitude. But I want to go to another story that has a lot of hypocrisy in it, and that's, of course, in Oregon. Now, in Oregon, they're trying to take away your informed consent, what they call your personal belief exemption. Understand that by calling it that, they're denigrating your right to be informed, your right to consent. That's what they're, they're completely changing the terms of it. That's how they operate. Uh, they choose the terminology, and that helps them to control the debate. It's not being informed. It's not allowing you to uh, get information about what's going on. No, this is just simply your personal belief. And, of course, your faith is the way they're portraying this. In other words, they have science, but we have personal beliefs. So, you know, you can't be trusted, number one. Number two, it isn't your consent. They're going to give you an exemption from their mandates because, according to them, everything is mandated unless they specifically allow it. See, we're their slaves. So we don't have any rights. We only have privileges. We only have exemptions. We don't have any rights. So when they start talking about personal belief exemptions, what they're talking about is taking away your informed consent. Now, this was an exchange, as they're having the, these hearings, this was an exchange between a lawyer, uh, Robert Snee, he's an attorney, who was arguing the case that we needed to preserve informed consent because that's the hallmark of our medical freedom, of our freedom as individuals. And I'm going to play that clip for you when we come back because the way she responded, and he was addressing the senator who was sponsoring this bill, the way she responded is absolutely amazing. We're going to take that apart in the next segment. Stay with us. Another major health threat, this one in Toledo, Ohio, where everybody in the entire city has been told not to drink the water. Ohio's governor declaring a state of emergency. Did you know that the average person uses about 80 to 100 gallons of water at home every single day? If there's a water emergency, will you be prepared? Panicked residents forming long lines throughout the day. We're here at a supermarket in Toledo. You can see the shelves empty where water once was. To stay safe and healthy during a crisis, you must must have access to safe, clean water. Water which will not be available at your local grocery store. There's a mad dash on right now to stock up on supplies. The ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system is a must-have for every modern, independently-minded household. Protect your family's safety during an emergency. Go to InfoWarsStore.com today to purchase your ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system or call 188-253-3139. Alex Jones here. For the last two years, I've been working with top doctors, nutritionists, and chemists to design a nutraceutical formulation that has truly life-changing health benefits. So many other formulations out there contain toxic ingredients, synthetic additives, and even GMOs. Introducing the all-new Ancient Defense Herbal Immunity Blend, crafted with over 14 key ancient herbs and extracts to supercharge and prepare your body for what experts admit is the most dangerous season of the year. We have rejected 
invented hundreds of other formulations in our quest to bring you what is simply the most powerful and comprehensive proprietary formula that we have ever created in the realm of herbal immunity. Experience the benefits of combining over 14 ancient herbs and extracts with exciting new advances in nutraceutical science. Now is the time to secure ancient defense for you and your family. Visit InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-888-253-3139. That's InfoWarsLife.com. When cells become toxic, they die early and aging sets in. No one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. Just one of the key compounds, BioPQQ, is backed by major clinical studies. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? We now have the synergistic solution. Secure your DNA force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. The average person's life is filled with unexpected challenges. Unlock the energy it takes to defeat these daily beasts with super male or super female vitality. Specifically designed to assist the body in regulating proper hormone balance to create superior vitality in males and females. Supercharge and conquer your world at InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-88-253-3139. For all of recorded history, civilizations around the world praised the health benefits of silver. At InfoWars Life, our mission is to bring you the highest quality, purest, cleanest, effective colloidal silver on the market today for the lowest price available. You don't have to be a doctor to know. The fall and winter months are the most dangerous time of year in North America when it comes to you and your family's health. InfoWarsLife.com is very excited to announce our biggest run yet of Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver, exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com. Now InfoWarsLife.com has taken colloidal silver to the next level using a cutting-edge technique that is free of toxic artificial additives. Now more than ever, it's important to stock up on high-quality Silver Bullet from InfoWarsLife.com. No survival chest is complete without Silver Bullet. Secure your Silver Bullet today at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. Silver Bullet. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. In this present crisis, government is not the solution to our problem. Government is the problem. From time to time, we've been tempted to believe that society has become too complex to be managed by self-rule. That government by an elite group is superior the government for, by, and of the people. The Alex Jones Show, because there is a war on for your mind. Hello, me. Meet the real me and my misfits wave. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, your host today. Now I'm going to go to this senator in Oregon who is trying to outlaw informed consent calling it removing the personal belief exemption. I'm going to go to that hypocrisy in just one moment. I want you to hear what she says in the committee here. But before I do, I want to let you know that uh, super male vitality is now 100% sold out, but we still have super female vitality for 20% off. We're going to be honoring that special that was throughout the month of February. That's why super male is sold out. We're going to be honoring that for super female vitality as long as we have a supply of that. Also on special, we have limited stock left for our buy two survival shield X2 and get one ancient defense free. That's still going on. Uh, you get uh, two already discounted bottles of survival shield X2 and a free bottle of ancient defense. You can find that at InfoWarsStore.com. Of course, that helps to support our operation. Also support the advertisers that... Uh, uh, advertise on your radio station where you're listening to the show. That's a very important thing to remember to do. We're grateful for our sponsors and for our affiliates. Now, going back to this law that is being proposed in Oregon, we have a hearing here. We have a lawyer ask a very pointed question to the senator who has written the law to remove our informed consent. And understand, before we go to this clip, that what he's about to do is to point out that she went against the advice of her physician. She went against the advice of the pharmaceutical company making the drug. She did research 
and she convinced herself that she was going to do something that was different from what her doctor, from what the pharmaceutical company was telling her. She made her own choice for herself and for her family. She was breastfeeding her child. She was told not to use a particular medication because by her doctor, by the pharmaceutical company, because they felt that it would be harmful for her child. She did research on it. She found that she thought that it would not be harmful, that they were being overly conservative. Whether or not you agree with what she was doing, that is not the issue. But when he brings that up, she immediately jumps down his throat, thinking that he's going to vilify her for her personal choice, as we have been vilified when we do our due diligence and look at what we're being told to put into ourselves and into our children. Listen to this exchange. This is between uh, Robert Snee, attorney, and Senator Elizabeth Steiner Hayward, who is trying to remove informed consent. Interestingly enough, in an article that was published in the American Academy of Family Physicians, the sponsor of this bill is quoted as disregarding the treating, her treating doctor's advice because, in the paraphrase, I did the research and disagreed with her recommendation. She chose to breastfeed her child despite the medication that she was taking um, for her condition and despite the risk to her child from that medication. There's a greater certainty of... I'm, I'm sorry, Madam Chair, I have to interrupt. Yes, please. My integrity has just been impugned by the witness. I'm, and no, I want didn't. to be really clear here, sir. He didn't impugn integrity. Clear. No, sir, please allow me to respond. Sure. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. Now that. listen to what she hangs herself. Listen to the way My she hangs herself with this. at that time was responding, in fact, to drug company paranoia because they'd never tested it in pregnant and breastfeeding women. I called the national expert on drugs and lactation from the University of Texas and asked him personally to clarify that interferons did not transfer from breast milk from the mother's tissue into breast milk before I made that decision for my child. And I also she made was that well decision aware for her child. that breastfeeding is the best thing you can do to protect children from autoimmune diseases. So I would be very grateful if you did not take my decision, my personal decision about my medical care out of context. Thank you. Oh. All right. It's not out of context. And he explains it Remember, to her right now. Mine was science-based. Science. She has science. We only have personal beliefs. I will have to ask people to leave if we don't have decorum. We do not impugn others. Oh, right? yeah, right. My Thank statement you. was not intended in any manner of impugning or maligning the sponsor of this bill, only pointing out that her right to exercise her informed consent and make a different decision than her treating doctor is the same right that we as citizens are seeking for ourselves. That's right. That's exactly the point. She wouldn't let him finish with the point. She interrupted and said, you're attacking me personally because they attack us personally. Anybody that doesn't go with what the pharmaceutical companies or the AMA is telling people, we have to be shut up. It's just our personal belief because she has science on her side. And we can't dispute that. This all goes back to what we just talked about with Joe Biggs about how Google is wanting to rank websites on perceived facts and not on links. Because what they do right now, Google's search engine currently uses a number of incoming links to a web page to determine the quality of that web page. So that's how they rank you on their searching. Now what they're going to do is they're going to look at truthiness. Truthiness, there we go. And we've already seen some research projects that uh, the government is funding to go in and evaluate the truthiness. We've seen them push back against people who were on the opposite side of Obama. They had the truth squads, remember that? Well, now what they're going to do is they've got a Google research team that's gonna have a model that's going to measure the trustworthiness of a page. Now, how do they determine the trustworthiness of a page? Well, they look at evaluating facts that are unanimously agreed upon, facts that the web unanimously agrees upon. Of course, that's going to go into something they call their knowledge vault. So they're going to go and they're going to cross check what you're talking about versus the quote unquote knowledge vault. And of course, that's going to shut down any dissent, any political dissent, any scientific dissent. We're not going to have anybody who pushes back against global warming because, of course, that's, uh, that would make us deniers, you know, infidels. We've already been told just this last week we saw one of the uh, chief persons at the UN IPCC resigning and saying global warming was his religion. I know it's his religion. It is a religion to these people. It isn't about the science. The science is not settled. Good science is never settled. It is always questioned, repeatedly questioned. That's how the Wright brothers got off the ground as homeschooling kids who had a bicycle shop when Langley, who was teaching at West Point and Harvard, 
and was the curator and, and was the head of uh, the Smithsonian, he couldn't get off the ground with his planes because he was relying as gospel settled truth, the tables that had been set up for lift coefficients. He wouldn't go back and question that. But the Wright brothers did question those tables and the tables were wrong. That allowed them to get a plane that would take off the ground. And of course, if we're going back to medical history, let's look at what Louis Pasteur did. He would have been shut down by the truthiness of the Google search engine, because I'm sure that the medical establishment, along with a 19th century version of Snopes, would have said that, uh, no, there's no such thing as germs. There's simply an imagination of Louis Pasteur's uh, a wild uh, conspiracy-oriented mind. We have to be very, very careful about this. This is a way to shut down the web. This is a way to dumb us down and to censor what we're saying. And people need to understand that things in the United States can happen, very bad things can happen. Just as, as Joe Biggs was talking about, people could not get it through their heads that we could have black sites in America where people are being held without being charged, where they're being tortured. It can happen. It is happening. They've got people who have said that it is happening. It's only in places like Russia, of course, that people get assassinated. We just had the case uh, this weekend where the chief opponent to Putin was shot down. He was walking near Red Square near the Kremlin with a female companion, kind of like uh, as if Mitt Romney just before the election got gunned down at the Capitol steps or on the White House lawn. And so immediately everybody is fingering Putin. Is that the case? Well, we have a uh, report up. Many people are saying, well, it's, it's, it's got to be Putin. And of course, I would I believe that Putin probably has killed many people. He's been involved with the KGB. We've had uh, dissidents abroad in the UK who've been poisoned. But the timing of this is very suspicious. The timing is very suspicious. It was done the day before there was going to be a major rally against Vladimir Putin. And Paul Craig Roberts points out, as if on cue, the murder yesterday of Boris Nemtsov, a Washington-funded Russian, quote, opposition politician, unquote, with a tiny following, has become a major news item for the American prostitute media. They've responded as if orchestrated by a conductor with insinuations of Putin's responsibility and the death of democracy in Russia. And, of course, he points out that this guy had very close ties with the West, the people that we have seen pouring billions of dollars into Ukraine to foment a civil war there. He got State Department funding through the National Endowment for Democracy, the NED, and, of course, the timing of when this happened. Ahead of the march today on Sunday of Vesna, the Russian Spring Anti-Government Opposition March. Now, I just want to point out, we also had somebody else killed that you don't hear too much about. We had possibly killed. Let's just say that. A Missouri candidate for governor dies of apparent suicide minutes after inviting reporters to St. Louis home for his interview. Of course, we've seen the same type of thing happen. I'm not saying that, that this was a murder, but we've seen Gary Webb suicided. We've seen the D.C. madam suicided. We've seen Aaron Schwartz suicided. Michael Hastings. Can happen in America. The Department of Homeland Security is buying up loads of Central, ammo. At the same time, they're Alex restricting Jones. civilians' rights to own and purchase firearms. Can you put two and two together? Infidel body armor can stop every round, including hollow points and 308 sniper rounds. Is reasonably priced and fully legal. But for how long? Go to infidelbodyarmor.com, spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L bodyarmor.com. Infidel body armor just won't quit. When cells become toxic, they die early and aging sets in. No one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. Just one of the key compounds, BioPQQ, is backed by major clinical studies. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? We now have the synergistic solution. Secure your DNA force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Using unparalleled research in the development of a synergistic formulation based around the key concepts of super oxygenation, the next level in cleansing is here. With key ingredients backed by real clinical studies, the new Oxy Powder, available through InfoWars Life, was invented during Dr. Group's research on the toxification of our bodies. Many herbal colon cleansers are harsh on the body and contain cheap and potentially dangerous ingredients, oftentimes full of synthetic fillers, GMOs, additives, or worse. 
first. Gently start cleaning your body with easy capsules that start working while you sleep. Oxy powder does not require time off work, and there's no need for bad tasting concoctions. Instead, Oxy powder slowly releases monoatomic oxygen into the intestinal tract and body. Experience the astonishing cleansing power of superoxide and ozonide technology. Go to InfoWarsLife.com or InfoWarsStore.com to get started with Oxy powder or call 1-888-253-3139.